Hi YouTube, Pills of Harper's here today. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Oregon alligator lizard tank. And as you can see, right here, we have the alligator lizard. It's just a juvenile. I caught it a few months ago. Okay. First off, I'm going to use the, the Zoomed substrate right here. It's a uh, eco -earth. It's a loose, loose coconut substrate. It's pretty good for like uh, bur burying and stuff. And I'm also going to do a mix of the Zoomed bark, repti bark stuff. So, first, what I do is uh, I pour about half the tank. Pour about half the tank in. I'll just leave the whole bag in this case because it was almost done anyways. Then I pour the other half with the eco -verse. This stuff comes uh, pretty humid, but I left the bag open with a hole in it. So it's all dry now, but I'll fix that. This hole's not very good, so I'm going to open it a bit more. I'm just going to go over everything. And then, now, I'm going to mix everything up. As you can see right now, there's more eco earth, but uh, that's fine for now. Alright, so there's that substrate. Now I'm gonna add um, this Zilla humid hide. I think it's like the rock layer or something. It's actually really good. It um two parts has like a little ramp in the beginning here and it uh pretty cool designs on it i recommend it so i'm just gonna put this here for now maybe like that i will add some uh terrarium moss in there from zilla but that'll be at the end of the video now i'm gonna add some uh plants hopefully these will stick I'm gonna sort of add one right here. Yeah, this will stick. And then I have another plant. And these plants are from Exoterra, I think. Probably. Oh, that one just fell off. There. Now I have one more plant here. It's, uh, I think it's from Zoomed. I really don't know. I'll put this one in the corner right here. Then, um, this is, I don't know if this is like necessary right now, but uh, I'm gonna add it anyways. Cause I do have another piece of like wood, but I'm not gonna add that in cause it's drying still. But I'll just add this in for now for some good like decoration. This is actually from a uh, Exoterra Crested Gecko kit. And the, it comes with a 12 by 12 by 18, which is right there. My nose are in it right now. But this was like the big decoration that came with the crushed gecko kit. So right now, I'm gonna take off the hide, put some moss in. This is just gonna be so he can shed easier and maybe like an extra hiding place. I would use sphagnum moss for this, but um, I ran out of it because I already put all of it in the leopard geckos area. Humid hide. So yeah, you just kind of want to fill in all the spaces on the floor or the bottom of the thing. Then you're going to want to spray that. Which, I don't know if the mist is all mist or so. Alright, so I have one of these uh, sprayers right here. Pump ones. Really wor works, I recommend it. I'm going to spray all that. Get all wet. No, not too bad. Then you're gonna finish off thing with the um, top like that. 
and he'll just go up the ramp right there. See that? Sorry about the glare. And then, yeah, he'll shed in there. Now I'm going to add this little bowl here for uh, water, unless I spray the tank and he looks good. I'm not really sure what he does actually. Alright, so here's this guy, alligator lizard. This is an Oregon alligator lizard, by the way. There's a, a lot of species of alligator lizards, and out here in California, they're everywhere. And um, they're usually under things, like, I know a lot of people have found uh, alligator lizards under trash bins and recycle bins and stuff. These things uh, eat usually crickets, um, any type of insect, and sometimes they'll even eat eggs, like bird eggs and stuff. Um, and these guys get pretty big actually. It's it's not because of their body itself. Their body itself is like five inches, but then their um, uh, tail, which is prehensile, which means it can like move and it can hang on things with its tail, that grows to about like six inches. Yeah. So on, in the end, it could get about to a foot. So yeah. So I'm just gonna add this guy now. Slide on in. There he is. Oh yeah, and for the last thing, I also have a vine right here. You can see that. And I'm, I just put this around the tank because these guys are sort of arboreal, which means they, well they're semi-arboreal, which means they uh, spend time on the ground and in the trees. Usually not in the wild, but um, in captivity they do. So I'm just going to like stick this right here at both ends coming. Okay, and now I'm going to get the lid. And this, by the way, this is a um, 20 gallon, 20 gallon long. Uh, zoom, uh, actually, it's a Zilla terrarium. Uh, it actually was for a breeder dragon, but um, the breeder dragon got bigger, so we moved into a 40 gallon breeder. So I just put this guy in here. And also, we have a UVB. That's pretty important with these guys. Um, also, these guys, they don't um, really need heat if it's like if you live in a hot environment like California. It's really hot right now. It's in the summer. And um, so I, I, I don't put a heat lamp on him, but in the winter, I probably will. See, he's right there. I caught him when he was a hatchling under a board near a creek. These guys like to hide around creeks and areas with lots of water, so that's why I spray the tank. Uh, twice a day and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it like comment do all that good stuff and I'll see you guys soon thank you